Hi everyone, welcome to this episode of Kuiper Labs. In today's video, we're going to be discussing uh, the concept of mutation, thinking about DNA strand. Okay, so we've already identified that DNA is the instructions inside all cells with a nucleus. And we've also identified that it has a four letter code made up of the four bases A, T, C, and G, adenine, thymine, cytosine, and guanine. And that the sequence of the code um, gives us, gives rise to the meaning or the, the way that the, your, cell, your, your cells can read those instructions. And so what we're looking at um, now is this idea that sometimes that code can be changed. So the um, so mutations, or this idea of a mutation, is a change in the DNA code. Okay, it's a random variation. Okay, so it has to do with chance. It's not necessarily a um you know a targeted sort of thing, um, and they can be good, bad, or neutral in terms of the effect that they end up having on the organism. Okay, so we're gonna quickly now talk about, right, well, in what way, what kinds of mutations are there? Okay, so what you can get, so let's let's say that this is the code in a particular portion of the DNA strand. Okay, so what we can have here, so that's, that's two separate T's by the way, I didn't mean to them to look quite so similar. Okay, so what we can get is that we can get a single base um, swapping. Okay, so where we've got A, A, T, C, and K. So what we're talking about here is this idea that the one that I've shown in black is this, where this C up here has swapped for a G. So in that code, then we have a, a little bit of a, a glitch in the, in the, the order there. Okay, um, we've got um, a repeat. Okay, so what we have here is that this G here, is so this base G has been repeated twice. So the rest of the code is the same, but we've now added in an extra um, copy of that base. Or we can have what's called a deletion. Okay. Okay, so we're here, in this spot here, there is a, a T that's missing. Okay, let me, I'll draw it up. Okay, so in this spot, there is a T. Let's see if I can show you a little better. Okay, because I realized that the, the contrast is a bit tricky there. Okay, so here we had a base of T that was chopped out. Okay, so it's been deleted. So the idea is that in each of these sort of situations that the code has been changed. So the code has been altered in some way. Okay, so it's like a mistake or a glitch in the code. Okay, well, it's, it's like perhaps the analogy might be thinking about like Chinese whispers, where the information as it's being copied, as it's being sent along, that it's occasionally that you can get kind of a little mistake that develops and then that gets passed on. So the code has been altered in some way, and so um, and then so the the so the glitch is retained and copied into the next the next generation. So next generation, all new cells contain the mutation. Okay, so that the new cells that come from that, that original kind of cell that has this um, specific kind of glitch, then maintain the copy of that. Okay, or just think about it like if you were photocopying pages after pages, and then at one point in the photocopying process that maybe a glitch sort of happened and the image wasn't quite perfect. If you then take that new piece of paper and you make a copy of it again and again and again, but then that that glitch gets kept in the new copies um, that are maintained. Okay, and so <clears throat> then we can say, all right, well, how do mutations occur? Okay, so it can be um, high energy radiation. Okay, so this might be uh, gamma. It might be X rays. Okay, or UV. Now, so this is one of the reasons why um, adults like for you to put sunscreen and a hat on when you're in the, out in the sun. When the UV exposure is very high in the environment, that then um, 
this can cause damage to the instructions in the cells on your skin, which are exposed to the UV. Okay, um, this actually, and I'll also add to this, that this also could involve um, alpha or beta radiation. Um, thinking about um, di different things that can then can cause this sort of damage. Um, it can be um, chemical exposure, okay? So this could be, could be um, something like asbestos, um, in builders who develop lung cancer, it could be um, cigarette smoke. Um, it can so so smoking. Okay, so it could be um, toxins in the environment. Um, lots of different things that are are things in the in, that's environmental. Okay, um, and other times that there's just it's just random chance. It's not necessarily that you're exposed to something which has altered the instructions. It's just sometimes a glitch just happens. Um, and that then that, that causes these mutations to kind of stick. Okay. And so um, sometimes these, um, but sometimes these mutations are a good thing. Okay. So we might thinking, okay, so they could be good. Okay. So like we thought about our long necked giraffes. Okay. Um, or it could be if you've heard of the example of the peppered moth, okay, where a random mutation in the colour of a moth allowed it to be better camouflaged on the trees and less likely to be picked off by predators. Um, yep, so that so that can be good, um, you know, or it, it could, um, you know, we have ones that are neutral. Okay, so things like mutations in hair colour. Um, eye colour. Okay, they're things that are fairly neutral. Being having blue eyes doesn't necessarily make you any um, more likely to survive than someone with brown eyes or with green or hazel eyes. Okay, and likewise, brown hair doesn't guarantee survival more than blonde hair or, or red hair. Okay, they're, they're just kind of change, you know variation in the population. Okay, and this is one reason why these things um, tend to last because it doesn't make you any more or less likely to survive. Okay, but then they can also be bad. Okay, going to have a negative effect. Okay, so things like we're causing cancer. Okay, mutations that cause cancerous cells to grow. Okay, um, that's that's one of the, the particularly kind of um, sort of um, bad sorts of things. Um, it can also um, cause genetic diseases. Okay, if, we, if it's leading to certain genes becoming faulty, and that then perhaps a disease develops as a result of that mutation. Um, you know, so that might be coming about for, um, yeah, a whole range of different things. Okay, so that, um, <clears throat> and, and, you know, we might perhaps end up with birth defects. Okay, if there are things that then affect um, what your gametes are like, that then, then affect um, the, the, the features of any children that you may have later on in life. Okay. Um, the, the cancer development one is a, is a huge kind of negative consequence that comes about from exposure of a whole range of different things, um, you know, and so sometimes the link is really clear and other times you might have been exposed to something that, you know, have no real um, idea about um, that it is causing you damage or danger until it's too late. Um, okay, so we can see that, muta but mutation is a, is a natural part of how, um, how variation in the population develops. Okay, so that these mutations that occur through random chance that affects the gene, that the codes in your genes um, can have positive effects, negative effects, or may just give rise to different variations in the population. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.